In statistical theory, there's this idea of the sufficient statistic. I had trouble figuring it out. Once I finally did, I decided I'd make this little video and share it with the world so that hopefully you won't have to struggle as much. So here we go. What's going on with the definition of sufficient statistic in probability and statistics? They say u is sufficient for theta if the conditional distribution of the y1 to yn given u does not depend on theta. That's nice, but uh, doesn't make sense with what they're also saying intuitively. What they're saying is a statistic is sufficient if you don't have to go back to the raw data for more information. For example, if you're trying to estimate something and you know the sample mean, the sample mean is good enough. Like going and looking at the data some more won't actually improve your estimate because Y bar told you everything you needed to know. That makes intuitive sense. What does that have to do with this? It took me a while to figure out, but it's because they set it backwards. I don't know why they reversed it, but here's what they're doing. A and B are independent if the probability of A times the probability of B is the probability of A and B. But there's two other ways to say that. You can also say the probability of A given B is the probability of A. In other words, B doesn't matter when you're figuring out the probability of A. It's like, I rolled a die. What's the chance it's a three? One sixth. Okay, it's cloudy out. Now what's the chance that it's a three? Still one sixth because being cloudy has absolutely nothing to do with the roll of the die. But you can also say, you know, what's the chance that it's cloudy given that I rolled a three? The, you rolled a three doesn't do anything for you. So there are two opposite ways of talking about independence. Well, three really, but two of them are verbally reversed. And they used one in the definition and another one in talking about it intuitively. And it took me quite a while to figure out that's what they were saying. What they're trying to say here is the conditional distribution of the y's given u does not depend on theta. In other words, they're saying the probability of getting the data given the statistic and theta is equal to the probability of data given u. Now that seems to have absolutely nothing to do with, you don't have to go back to the data for more information if you have the sufficient statistic and you're trying to estimate a parameter. Because that would be more like saying this, the probability of the parameter having a value given u and the data is equal to the probability of the parameter having a value given u. This is the one that says, you don't have to go back to the raw data for more information to improve your estimate. Like your estimate is just as good with the data as without, so long as you have the sufficient statistic. That's what makes sense intuitively with the verbal description. But the definition they gave was this. It so happens that those two things are mathematically the same, but conceptually they're completely different. I have no idea why they pulled that switcheroo, uh, but they did. And since I wasted a lot of time figuring that out, I figured I would just kind of put out the alert. So if you're Googling for what the heck is going on with the definition of sufficient statistic, hopefully that gives you a little bit of help to get forward. Good luck.